In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing a piece of live performance software called Gig Performer 3. I'm super excited about it, and we're gonna have a look at how this compares with Mainstage and Ableton and who this is right for. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com, where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of sound design, with building a stable live keyboard setup, and with Ableton. If you're new here, please consider clicking that like and subscribe button. All right, so Gig Performer 3 is a live performance software. It is not a DAW, and this, in my opinion, actually works to its strength. So this is split up into three main areas. We have this front panel space uh, where we can design a front panel much in the same way that you would in main stage. We have this backspace, which is where you build the patch itself using wires. And this reminds me a lot of the way uh, Reason works. And then we have this song section where you're able to build out songs and navigate through sections of songs really quickly. So super simple workflow and it gives you exactly what you need. A place to build your patches, a way to control your patches, and a way to build out your songs. So this comes in at only $150, which is a good deal less than the full version of Ableton and slightly more than Mainstage, but it definitely packs a larger punch. So let's have a look here at how you can build a patch really quickly. Um, if you just create a new rack space, I'm going to call this Piano pad and flip over to the panel by clicking this switch to the back view button, you'll see you're presented with a MIDI in and an audio out. And what you put in here is totally up to you. So I'm going to start by adding contact and an instance of the giant. Now, Gig Performer 3 does not come with any built-in sounds. You will have to run it completely with VSTs, but there are lots of free options available, and I'm gonna put links down below to the VSTs that I'm currently using if you want to pick up a copy of them. So now we've got the sound in here, and we can just quickly connect our wires. So MIDI in to contact, and then we'll do gain and balance out to the audio output. This is just a really simple built-in control that lets me control the level, um, and this will be useful later. Um, I'm also gonna add an instance of pigments, and I can connect that up the same way. So once I've hooked up these wires to connect everything, I've got audio flowing. And so it's really easy to just build things out using VSTs. Now, this is not where it ends. If you flip back over to the front panel here, you can begin to design controls. So this is where it definitely has the leg up on main stage. If I drag this in, I can hit the number of sliders I want, and it gives me really quick control of making it visually pleasing. So if I resize just one of them, select the others, I can hit make same size, and I can say center horizontally, and distribute horizontally, and now they're evenly spaced. And I didn't even have to do anything, and that's amazing. Um, these can be quickly mapped, of course, by clicking on them and going into whichever plugin you want. So for the volume, I like to use gain and balance, and I can choose gain. And now when I exit out, I have control over the gain of my piano. So mapping is super simple. Now, I actually was able to rebuild my entire Ableton live set in Gig Performer in about 30 minutes. So that's saying something. If you are not needing to produce and you're just needing to play live, this is definitely something to seriously consider because it's only $150. It's available for both Windows and Mac, and I built the same thing. This is what it looks like in the back, and it's really simple. I've got my on-off buttons, my plugins, volume control, some effects, and for the effects chains, I'm using Serum's FX version, and if you want to pick up a copy of this, I've got a link for that below as well. Um, and now it just works. I have my controller mapped. I've got my on-off buttons. I've got some filters. And it's that simple. Now, moving over into song mode, there are some super powerful features that I do think sets this slightly above main stage as well. And it's a lot more visual than Ableton. So if visual feedback is important to you, this is also definitely something to consider. But check out how fast making a song set list is, right? 
So these are all of my sounds down here, my rack spaces, and you can make as many as you want. For this song, for my intro, I can just click what I want. So for intro, I've got this first rack space. For verse, uh, I'm gonna go to just piano. And then for chorus, I'll go to the piano pad we just made. So now I can just kind of scroll through here and it changes sounds for me. But what's even cooler than that is if I were to insert a new song section and call it verse two, you can really quickly make a different version of a previously used rack space. So for my intro, I used this. And for verse two, if I wanted to use the same thing, but tweak it a little bit, I could turn on my final countdown pad. I could turn on the giant, open this filter the rest of the way, add some drive, and click this button. And now my intro has this iteration, and my verse two has this iteration. It's that fast. So you can really move through programming a song really quickly. Now, two other things that are nice that I want to talk about is there is a recording feature inside Gig Performer 3. Now, you can't edit what you record, but it's going to record any audio inputs that you have. So if you've got uh, something like I have the Sapphire Pro 24 with a loopback channel, you can record your audio uh, while you're playing. It runs really light. It's, it's insane. You can play very heavy patches and record, and it totally works. Um, and when you're done, it just has audio files of all your channels, and you can even record MIDI. So this is amazing. And then if you did need to edit it, you could pull that out and put it into a DAW where you have further recording features. MIDI mapping is another thing that Gig Performer does really well. So when we go into global MIDI settings, it gives us some options here where we can uh, program buttons on our device to move things around. So for moving to the up patch, I'll have the up button on my controller. For moving to the down patch, I'll have the down button on my controller. And then, now I have control, just from the buttons, which is really nice. You also have the tap tempo, play stop, all of these options for just global assignments uh, that makes it really easy. But it also does this really cool thing where you can send information to a hardware controller on a patch change. So if you're using part hardware, um, and part soft synth, you can actually use Gig Performer to communicate with your controller while you're playing. Now, who is Gig Performer for, okay? Gig Performer is for anyone who is looking for software that just does live performance really well. Friends, that is what this is designed for, just for live performance. So if that's you, then this software is definitely worth checking out. Um, this is also for people who would like to use MainStage but own a Windows computer. Now, how does it stack up against MainStage and Ableton? Here's the deal. Ableton is a fully functioning DAW. So if you are looking to produce, you're going to need a DAW. And if you're trying to choose between Gig Performer and Ableton, Ableton is probably the way to go in that case. But I think Ableton really takes the cake on running tracks, but you can actually sync this up with Ableton. And I think in terms of just like playing patches and building out songs, this is just way easier to use. Um, so I would definitely consider using this for a live setup. If you're trying to choose between Gig Performer and Main Stage, it's a very different story. Gig Performer has shown to be more stable in my experience with it. Gig Performer is also really fast to program songs with in a way that's much more intuitive than MainStage, and it also gives you a lot of really nice ability, as you saw before, to make the visual control. So for the win here, I would say Gig Performer 3 over MainStage. However, Gig Performer does not come with any built-in sound. So if that is an issue for you, then it is definitely worth considering if you need to go with main stage just because it has patches. Now, if you're on the fence about this, then I want you to head over to their website and grab a free trial so you can experiment with it for yourself. And if you're trying to choose between main stage and Ableton, I've got a video on the screen right now to help you do that. If you got value out of this video, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And I will see you next time at livekeyboardist.com.